여명과 함께 혼란이 퍼져나가리라 용수순치는 파멸의 공원 속에서 어둠을 뚫고 한 줄기 빛이 대지를 가르리니 하늘에서 내려온 해초의 별이 세계를 인도할 선지자의 혼을 가져오리라 용사여 그대는 어둠을 가를 칼날이 될 것이니 Hello guys, for our today's video, we will be checking this new game on board, which is the Dragon Nest Mobile Classic, which was a private server from its original mobile game, the Dragon Nest Mobile, back in 20... seventeen, I guess, when it was officially launched. But unfortunately right now, it was closed. And this private server was created just this, or it was launched the 2nd of January if I'm not mistaken. You can check that on their Facebook page. Yes, it shows here that it was launched on the 2nd of January. So you, if you would like to follow their Facebook page, this is actually their Facebook page as well. So you just need to hit the like so that you will be notified if you will be downloading this game moving forward. And you can also subscribe or join their Discord page where you can see the most recent updates or announcements about the game from the developer and the game master itself. So now going back to the game. So this is pretty much the same as the old version or the original version of it, the Dragon is Mobile back then. So if you're if you already played the game before, so you are already familiar with this. So on this video, I will just show you a quick guide for those beginners who just recently downloaded the game. So right now I'm actually using a PC to play this, but you can use you can download this free for your mobiles, mobile phones. But Unfortunately, it's not available for iOS. On their Facebook page, it will show the download links for the game itself, for the APK application that you need to install on your phone if you will be using a mobile phone. If, if It's also the same APK file that you will be using if you will be using an emulator for your computer. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start. You just Adventure, need to click. Slide the control stick and try to get into Blue Halo. So pretty much the same as the old one. So it on your right after you create your crack, right after you create your character, it will also show you a basic guide how you can start or play the game. It's like a mini tutorial for the game, like this. Good job! Let's try this again and move to the Watch out for the demons, Adventure! Attack them by tapping the normal ATK button. A mob of so demons have showed up. Let's try out the new skill and see what it does. Well, for beginners, there were actually say seven classes available. Right now, I use a mage class or sorcerer's type. This is, this is the usual type that I played before with the old version or the original version. There are also archers, swordsmen, cleric, Kali, academic, and assassins available. If you not prefer to use the mage type. So let's continue. Now oh, here comes the boss. What's really amazing with this game is it has this dodge feature that you don't really see most of the MMORPG games right now. 
Adventure? We will help you fight against them. So just like that. So right after the tutorial, you will be landing on this scene in Saints Heaven. So all you just need to do is when you see this under quest, you'll just have to click on this and just follow and the character will already be directed to the quest itself. So it's an automatic pathing for the quest itself. So here, so for we still waited the counts for the from the 19th until the 30th of January. For to liquidate the characters and accounts, we will be given the black robings costume set that is the brightness costume and 1015k diamonds already so pretty much the same when it was officially launched on the second so back then there were actually diamonds given every day so it's much pretty much the same like what the initial players got from this game to our developers or the game masters so that for the new players can actually go up with the existing players for this game so we uh, just have to follow the quick path for the quest so here this is the story quest map so you'll just have to click on each quest and there you go. So you will see a lot of this kind of scenes for the story mode. But we really tell something about the story line of this game. You can actually skip that scene if you're really not if you're annoyed with the story scenes, by the way. See the skip scene here. If you want, you can actually skip the scenes. Adventure, please pay attention to the yellow super armor bar under the boss blood bar. When a super armor bar exists, you will not be able to interrupt any skill of the boss. Wow, adventure, look! The boss has just entered the armor break stunt mode. It will take massive damage if you attack it right now. The boss will unleash an ultimate skill. Once the super armor bar is completely filled, be sure to dodge this attack when it comes.
now, after the first quest, we'll be back to Saint Seven. So this is where you can actually modify or set your skills for your character. So for each type, for each class, there will be a lot of combinations for the skills. Skill learning is an indispensable step on the way of growth. And different skills can be combined together according to your own preferences. Anyway, there are a lot of skills provided here, so you can actually customize it here depending on your preference and your gameplay for the game. Going back to the quest. As you notice, it level up really fast. And for now, the, le the level cup is it's on until level 40 only, until further notice. Now here, now on this part, you can actually choose whether you will like to view it on 2D or 3D view. So here, if you choose 2D, the view will be like this, but you can actually tweak it or change it by just clicking on this button in here that will show you the options of the views available. So we have 2D, 3D, and 3D plus available. So if you click 3D like this, 3D plus similar, just like the 3D as well, but with an enhanced viewing option. So right now I'll choose 2D for the meantime. Watch out for the things under your feet. Warning strike warns you that the boss is about to engage in a charge attack. Dodging to the side will do you good.
괜찮은 것 같군. 저 마음을 들은 내게는 별것이지만 너에게는 그리 쉽지만은 않을 거야. 조심하도록 해. 내 얼굴에 먹칠하지 말. 위험하네. On this part, you can actually set now your character. Once you're on the story mode, or even on some portion of the quest, not just the story mode, you can see this icon here. If you click on this icon, your character will automatically be set on auto fighting mode. So there. Now here, once you're ready, achieve level 9 and up, you can already set your character's costume. On this scenario, this costume has already been provided or given for newly created accounts. So that's the brightness costume. And this is what I'm telling earlier as well. For newly created accounts from the 19th of January to the end of the month, each character will receive 15k diamonds. So there. And a title as well. If you activate that, you can see it here on the title. Just click on the events tab, and that's best family title. You just need to click on display. In there, you can already see the title. Now, let's the costume. So, you will also be given free wings for newly created accounts during the promo time. 
but there were a lot of rings given free in game. Just have to stay tuned. It's it's not really daily, but sometimes they developers give free costumes and wings or even a lot of items useful for the game as well. So just have to click on the item and equip set. This. And you just need to click on close, close set so that you can equip the costumes. So here is set. So you can see the wings and the there are actually three pieces here, so wings, tails, and tattoos. So right now wings will be here, but if you will see the list here, this is all these sets, costumes just as available right now on the game. If you play the old or the original Dragon Dust Mobile game, this is the actual set before the enhancement or the, up the update for Dice Dragon match, I believe, or the Red Dragon, just during the Red Dragon time. So this is the set of costumes available. So, so this is the free costume that we got for the only activated or created account. So there, and by the way, this is, aside from the costumes, you can also see here the list of three piece equipment, wings, tattoos, and tails. So right now, this is the available three piece sets. And also, the legendary weapons available here. It's already color code yellow here. So, they are pretty much the same. So here as well, these, for the top up, you really can't top up using this option right here now. If you check on their Facebook page or on their Discord group, you will see there the link which you can use to top up your account if you would like to top up your account. Just that's a an actual money that you put into the game. <laughs> 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 so
그렇게 힘들어? This part on the scale skills available. If you see like this, it's colored. This means that this skill is for the buff, so you have to put it there. Buffs were really helpful, especially for quests, even in PvPs. For each character and class, there are a lot of certain buffs available depending on the classification or the specialization that you will choose for your character moving forward. And by the way, on these scales, if you see yellow scales like this, you can't really equip them because these are the passive scales available for your character. Here, for the story quest, if you really don't want to go with each story quest right now, you just simply leave the dungeon and then let's wait. And then just need to click on the quest tab again. And then here, if you click on the story quest, if you see the button here, the, this button here, which means that you can easily clear the story quest without going to the quest itself. So there. Simple as that. So adventure is along here. to adventure along. Join the guild, burn your youth, hand in hand. Let's go through the continent. This is the part that which you can actually join your character to guilds available there so right now there are a lot of guilds available and I also have my own guild here as well so if you will be joining a guild just make sure that you will join the guild that will really help you to improve your character or to improve your quest on the game but if you're just here for fun like me you can just simply create your Guild by just clicking on this button here says build guild and it will cost 500 points for you to create the guild but right now since I already have my own guild I'll just have to join this character to my existing guild so right now I just have to look for it it's level 4 I believe Pretty much close now. A few more clicks. So there. This is what I'm telling you guys. They only created this guild for fun. So if you can see the members here that has the same character name as the guild leader, that means that that's my characters like this. They were dummy characters just to create it for fun and to increase the grid sign in for the guild. So currently it's full, so I'll have to kick one and active from the guild so that I can have this join. There. There. So here, this is already the guild menu. 
so this is where you can actually sign in for each sign in for example here it will give you sign in counts if you already reach your maximum counts for the sign in it you will also be receiving loots from the game like for example here for 15 30 45 60 counts of sign ins you were available loots for each like this treasure so for 15 will give you okay, let's see. so for 30 1k coins for 45 diamonds for 60 counts here you can also improve your skills only guild leaders deputy leaders can improve this skill they can actually use to upgrade your characters if you already have enough currencies to upgrade it If you enter the guild, now it's loading. This is the actual guild. You can actually plant seeds here, or I mean flowers here. They you can use to well flowers for actually for charisma events. If you give like this, if you will see this, now it's gone. Just like the heart icon showing, that means someone has given flowers to someone else. And later on, I'll show you where you can actually see those. Here, if you go this far, you can see a tiny lake. Where you can actually fish. There are a lot of loots available as well in there. So pretty much it. This is the guild. So let's go back to Saints Heaven. Earlier, this is. Oh, it's not yet showing. But later on, I will show you where you can actually see the rankings for the flower challenge for the charisma challenge part this is where you can actually specialize your character so basic class will be sorcerers so you can specialize it to an elemental lord or a force user so each class have different specialization available so right now there were certain class like warrior archers academic and Kali that already has that already have a specialization available here. So right now, let's accept the trial so that we can set the specialization. So here, it will direct you to the testing stage. We can actually test each specialization. Like here, for example, an elemental lord. This is. These are the skills available for an elemental lord. So you can see here the violent skill. This is actually the the SS for each character. So you, that's it. You can actually switch 
you know, so that you can also try the other specialization before you can actually decide which specialization will you choose. So for this force user, these are the sets of skills available. Let's try the SS. SS, just like that. Now let's switch back to the elemental ward. That's the SS. So now here, this is the designing part. We need to decide. Earlier, what I'm telling you about the charisma, there, that's the notification. If someone else has given flowers to someone else, to increase their rank for the charisma. So here, another tab will open that will give you another set of skills. It will also give you now the SS for the character. So here, you can already click it. There. So if you can see, there's a lot of skills available here. And there is also a second SS available here. Which will be available if you reach level 14. Let's try to skip the level or the story mode. Let's skip the level of the character. I'll teach you one option. But you can easily level up your character. So here. So let's just exit the back to the quest you can already sweep it for 10 times it will help you level up faster so let's skip it again now it's level 23 now it's level 24 it's by more stamina level 27 Now it's level 28. Let's add more stamina. I'll purchase a little max now. One more. Oh. So we are ready to use the So aside from the list that you can actually see here, this is also the daily quest, the princess task that will give you the medals that you can actually use. 
to buy monikers. Thank you for your here. That's what I'm telling you. This medal that's needed to increase your monocle level. You can actually get that here. This kind of medal here. You can actually use this to exchange for medals in here. Click on shops. Go to Saint Shop. This is where you can actually exchange those medals for monocolor medals that you can actually use to update your monocle level. It's rank A, B, C, D, and S. S will be the highest. Right now, if you're not satisfied with the quality, you just need to click here, refresh. Now it turns B. If still you're not satisfied, click on refresh again. If you ran out of available times here, you just simply hit the plus button here so you can buy more refresh time. So right now it's A. Here, level 33. Successfully challenged in every level, provide a bag of plates. Metal plates can be used to craft emblems. This part, this quest, boss rush will give you the plates. You successfully defeated the boss for each round. So you can actually craft here. You can place those plates here. So here we have sample. But on the boss rush, it will drop class B or A as of now. So if you craft it here, you can see some. And you go back to heraldry. There. So right now let's try to speed up our level up. So sign is push that. Oh, it's not gonna be up. This is one of one type of mission here as well. Weekly bounty mission that will give you weekly quests. You have entire week to complete the quest. So here, if you completed all of this, there will be chests available here for 30, 60, and 10 percent. And there's a lot of loot available for this right now. Where I don't have it yet. Let's go to daily so that we can easily level up for the We just have to finish this. So it's level 36 now. Forgot to sign into the guild. Forty. Go two times. Five more.
So here, what's this? On this part, if you finish all of this, it will give you dragon wares that you can actually put in here. Now here, this is the PvP arena. So this is one on one, this battle of heroes. On this part, you can actually fight other players available here on one on one. So let's try it out. By the way, for the battle of heroes, if this is already available, this will give you the option to battle. It's like 4x4 four four battles in which you will be provided heroes you need to choose which hero will be using for the fight. We'll show that later. So right now we'll try Dagger This is actually one of the best part of Dragon Nest mob or even the Dragon Nest PC. Now, since we're just started, we'll just give you dummy characters to fight up. For each improvement, or for each, if you already reach certain level here, you will have the chance to fight Will players already. Now I don't have much skills Set the scales real quick. Okay. So here we already have a lot of skills available. We just forgot to set them up because we skipped level up earlier. So right now we already have a lot of skills available. to our daily quest you can change the camera angle here by clicking on your avatar and then just hit the camera and you can switch the views available here as well now let's go back to the base oh we're missing one try one more
Go back to our daily quest. There. Hmm. Still not enough. Okay. All right. So here, so once you reach level 20, 32, and 40, it will give you set of gears available as well. So right now, we have two available, so here. And so, we have the Manticore set for level 32, and we have the server set for level 20. Right now, we'll be using the Manticore set. There, this gears you can actually improve them, you can actually enchant them with enchantment stones, which will give you stats available as well to increase your battle points or your BP. You can upgrade them, you can forge, if, especially for class S gears. It will give third refinement skills here that you can actually find. So if you forge it, it will give you a third skill available here. And enhance. So there. Just try to find ways to increase our So there, for now we, since we're locking out of stamina available, so we can't skip right now to level 40, but here, this is the events available for level 40, so once you already reach level 40, it will unlock the, it's not here, it will unlock the dragon there, if you're an old or an old player, you're already aware of the dragon bears. So this is actually where the stage or the dungeons that you actually encounter the real dragons on this game. For each stage, it will give you equipment sets that you can actually use to improve your character moving forward. So that's pretty much it for the beginner guides. Oh, one more thing. Forgot the mount here. So 
once you reach level 21, you can already unlock them all. So there. And also fairies here. So that's pretty much it. So right. So let's end this video right now here. So thank you so much for your watching. And if you like the video, you just need to click on the subscribe button there or the bell icon and hit the notification button as well or click on the like and then the notification button so that it will be updated once I post another tutorial video. Right, thanks so much for watching.